Uh, I can appreciate uh, the uh, need to keep certain uh, anecdotes of the teacher-student mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. between the teacher and the student. Yeah, I mean, he didn't mean like miracles, okay? Yeah. He means like his own personal feeling, like his own personal experience, or his own personal memory of Dijon Rinpoche. Like what, like, uh, n not necessarily Dijon Rinpoche did something miraculous, mm -hmm. but like what kind of special feeling does he remember? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yannan? Tare. Well, this is a lot of a lot of amazing things happened. I mean, a lot of incredible things. I've had a lot of incredible memories, uh, and uh, if, uh, if if I were to go into that, it would it would it would take up quite a lot of space. I mean, there, there's a tremendous amount that could be said. Would you would you will you write them down? Will you record them? Absolutely. Whatever is comfortable. Yeah. That's <laughs> Ma <laughs> And so and so when I was uh, when I was at Minderling <coughs> receiving the Rinchen Terza, the uh, the previous tukul of Drukpa Yongzin Rinpoche, who who presently lives in in America. Kada Yongzin Rinpoche. Kada Yongzin. Kada Yongzin. Okay, so that's a different one than Drukpa Yongzin. But anyway, so this Kada Yongzin Rinpoche was there, and he said um, he said you know if you if you make the right kind of connection, if you connect with the right lamas, then you'll become a great uh, you know become a great uh, a great teacher, or you become a great lama yourself, and so you should. Uh, not just go to any lama, but rather to uh, His Holiness Dujar Rinpoche. And that's why I went to Kongbo to meet His Holiness. Yes. And so uh, the morning, the day before I was supposed to meet His Holiness, I had a dream. And, uh, and so I, in my dream, I saw a very large <coughs> monastery that was called Zangdo Pelri. And it was uh, uh, painted with gold and it was very, very large. And there's a very large uh, courtyard where, where sacred dances could be held and so on. And so, I, and so in my dream, I, I, I entered the uh, inner uh, confines of the monastery. And 
Uh, so and so uh, and so uh, I saw Dujan Rinpoche, and I came into the center of the uh, of the courtyard where the dance. Oh, oh, so oh, so, so Dujan Rinpoche, Rinpoche, Dujan Rinpoche in the dream came into the center of the courtyard. And uh, on the right was <coughs> uh, his. Uh, uh, His Holiness's right side was uh, was his uh, daughter Dechen. <coughs> and then on the left side was his daughter uh, Pema Yudron. And so uh, and so both <coughs> of the. <coughs> And so, and so both of the uh, both of the daughters are holding a very large, uh, a very large vase for for carrying water on their backs. And uh, and so I didn't I didn't prostrate uh, at that at, in, at that time, but. Uh, uh, His Holiness said, uh, "Oh, young young boy, have you uh, have you arrived?" Uh, and uh, so, uh, and and so uh, oh, and so and so His Holiness wasn't wearing any kind of lama's robes, just wearing a chuba. Uh, and so, um, and so, His Holiness said that uh, that I ought to go into the temple of his protector Nurjin Shenpa. And in this in this monastery, the um, the, the, the temple was in the southern direction, and the um, and the protector Nurjin Chempa's temple was in the northern direction. And the uh, the roofs of the of this temple of these temples were all uh, painted with gold leaf and were just incredibly beautiful. So, and so I opened up the door to the protector temple. And uh, when I opened up the door to the protector temples, there was like a there was like a, an ocean of, of blood and all kinds of like a human heads and arms and, and so on were floating around in it. And in the middle of this ocean of blood, there was a there was a uh, giant Garuda floating above. And then uh, riding on the Garuda's back was the um, was the wrathful protector Nojin Shempa, uh, complete with all of the ornaments and everything. And there were uh, kingru or skeletons uh, dancing around as his retinue. And, and then, and then, and then, His Holiness uh, said to me, "This is your protector." And uh, and so I thought, wow, what, a, what an amazing, uh, powerful protector! And the protector pronounced the syllable "hick" uh, three times to me. Uh, and uh, and so then I then I uh, I walked out of the temple and then uh, His Holiness said to me, now go and go into the Zangropalri temple. And 
And at that time, uh, the, the two daughters were not there. It was just His Holiness and myself. And then at that time, His Holiness said, uh, you, um, young man, you wait here uh, on the steps. I'm going in to ask uh, Guru Rinpoche. And then at that point, I woke up. And, uh, and when I woke up, the, the sun had risen and, and there was and there was a ray of sun at the top of my head. And at that time I thought, oh, uh, His Holiness, uh, Dijon Rinpoche is really my, my teacher. And that same day I, I went to meet His Holiness for the first time. Uh, and so when I when I uh, when I went to see him that day, he actually wasn't there. He had gone out uh, walking somewhere else. And then uh, and uh, and so Semo Pema and Pema Yudron and and Semo Pema Dechen Semo Dechen. Uh, were peeking out from behind the curtain. And so they and so they uh, they they seemed to recognize him. They or they knew that he was uh, they knew that he was coming. Hagamasen. Uh, so um, and so when he saw when he saw them peeking out from behind the curtain uh, or through the window, he recognized them from from the dream. And so I waited about an hour, and then His Holiness arrived. And uh, when I when I prostrated to His Holiness, uh, when His Holiness came, I prostrated to him, and he was exactly the way I had seen him in the dream. Oh, um, yeah, and so and the uh, so the wrinkles in the middle of his forehead between his eyes made a sort of uh, a sort of like trident, and, uh, and 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 to my mind this indicated that he really is an emanation of uh, Padmasambhava. And uh, when I when I made uh, when I made three prostrations, he said, "No, no, don't don't prostrate." And so I, I said to uh, His Holiness that um, that I, I need to receive the uh, the Khandro Tuktik and the Sogyal Tuktik, uh, the, the empowerments and, uh, and and transmissions and explanations, uh, and I want to do the Khandro Tuktik uh, preliminary practice. And his son has said, uh, don't do the Nandro now. You, should, you have some obstacles and you should do the Purva practice first. And then he, then he said to Lama Longdro, bring the, uh, bring the Purva, the volume of the Purva texts. And Sis Holiness immediately gave me the uh, the transmission and, and commentary on the uh, Purba Vatrikalaya practice, and then I went into retreat. Uh, and I had a lot of good signs of, of accomplishment in the practice uh, while I was in retreat, but I won't I won't uh, go into detail.
닥슨 텐스 닥슨 텔레마타 말은 뭐지다 군삼는 대사님 개비리 잡지지가 배우 잡지지가 배우 스님들 저런 닥슨 디나신 중 중성화 중성세 이런 뭐지 다 잡지기 캔반 나오시나 캔사링이 뭐니다 맞아 and uh, and so uh, and so when I went to after I left retreat and went to see his holiness he said um, he said uh, did you have this kind of result and that kind of sign did this this such and such a thing happen and, uh, and it, it was as if he had already known what uh, what kind of signs I had in my practice and it was amazing we were both amazed. And then and so I and so I actually stayed uh, around his holiness for a year or two. Uh, and so then I went to Kongbo Me, the lower, the lower part of, of Kongbo. Kongbo Me, that's it. Then on the third and fourth day, Lingba did it again. Chapter two, then. And uh, that time there was a, a Tertan uh, Pegyal Lingba uh, who, who met it. Did it again. And I met him at that time.